In 2018, Irish potato farmers across the country are estimated to have produced 1.2 metric tons, a yield barely enough to cater for the country's needs. The Ministry of Agriculture has attributed the loss to lack of proper pest control mechanisms to salvage the harvest, inefficient storage facilities, and defunct seeds, as well as lack of standardized weights and measures for the farmers. While the Senate approved the amendments in 2014, Parliament is yet to have inputs on the proposals. According to Kiunjuri, middlemen have been coercing farmers into extending the potatoes to hold more of the produce than selling it at a high price. Thus, the weight limit will eliminate the practice. By the fact that these guys are doing the extended bag, a farmer is not even aware of what they are selling. In fact, it's by the grace of God that they are still in production. You can imagine some of those bags are taller eh, than me or even taller than the way I'm lifting up my hand. So a farmer is not, cannot be able even to quantify. They cannot be able to say how many kgs am I selling to this broker. The standardized 50 kilogram bags will further be sold at a negotiated benchmarked price right from the farmers to the market if the amendments sail through. For the first time, even the farmers will be able to know, okay, have been able to produce 88 bags of a, of a potato and they can now look at the input to know whether they are in, in the in profit making venture. The cabinet secretary has further directed three companies to distribute 30,000 seeds to the over 1 million farmers as the government seeks to increase the country's yield to six metric tons annually. Charged Caro, ADC and CAFIS with the responsibility to ensure that each and every farmer by the year 2021 will be able to access certified seed and at the same time have enough seed to import to export that in the next two years we shall have improved the propagation propagation of a potato certified seed that is the basic seed Kyunjuri is urging Parliament to fast-track regulations that will see proper storage and marketing avenues for the surplus produce from the farmers across the different sectors. You will notice that some of the big chains that have come into Kenya, whether it's KFC and, and, and all the food chains, they do not actually use potatoes from Kenya. They do not use our cheese, they do not use our egg, they import all of it. So if we are able to regulate that industry, then they are able to bring it in the standard that is required. And also, most importantly, Things like the weights and measures is to ensure that the farmer gets um, value for their crop. Juni Carissa for Business Insight from Mombasa County.